Hi, you guys. Hello, 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 and how are you? Um, I'm just fine as frog hairs. I uh, slept a little bit late this morning, and um, but I'm awake now, and I'm excited to do something. And I didn't know for sure what I wanted to do first, because I know I'm going to go work on my boho journals. I'm going to go into my sewing room, and I'm going to do that. But I'm going, I wanted to do something gluey before that, because I am... I am like one of those kind of people that just likes, I'm very eclectic, I'm very eclectic, and so my my joys kind of jump from subject to subject, and so here I'm working on a, um, on a journal, this is just a small journal that I'm working on, and I've already kind of written um, some of the pages and stuff, and um, and, and when I write in here, I don't write, I mean, I write and I put stuff, but I don't do it all, like, in order. I just do flip, flap, flip, flap, boom. And it's a fast one. It's only got, like, ten pages. And um, so it's something that I fill up quickly. So I like these kind of little, little bitty journals. I just take an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, and I fold them in half, staple them down the middle, or... Yeah, this one's staple. And, um, and then I just fill them up, in it, and they fill up quickly. They fill up quickly, and then, um, and, and so you get a journal done. It's like you don't have all these undone ones. Here. Okay. But, so in this one, I thought, you know, most of the pages are kind of dull. So I, this is my watered down school glue, and I, it's like half, glue and half water. It might be a little bit more glue than water, but it's about half and half. I put that piece of tape on there, that washi tape, to remind you that this is the one that's watered down. Let's see. I think I want to use a see, I got brushes like everywhere. <coughs> oh, excuse me with this coughing. Lately, I'm just going to coughing and more. I gotta start using my thing but anyway I'm just gonna collage on this page and so I'll I just I'm gonna try it this way I'm just going to you know paint on um, this watered down blue and I understand it works like decoupage you know just like if you're using the mod podge and some people say this is even better. So I'm going to use that. And I've just got some. I sometimes when I have nothing better to do, I just um, let's see, I just cut images out of magazines or catalogs and stuff like that. I just just I just cut out images and I and this was a catalog, I think. Actually, I think this was a um, was a a catalog for craft supplies. Even I wonder how that fit in there. And um, and so I'm just gonna just stick those on there. I'm just sticking them little boogers on there. Let's see. And trying to find just the squarish ones that I can put first and just cover the background. I had already inked and stuff on the pages only because only because um, I did all the pages. Put wax paper behind my page so it won't get on the other ones. Okay, so and then I'm gonna I just wanna I just wanna kinda make an artsy page on this one. I had already put some washi tape on that edge, but I'm going over. Now I'm just going over that with my hey, look at that. I got this this paper is um stamped and it's um baked in the oven, you know, coffee dyed and then down here. I've got a strip of of um, washi tape, but I'm covering all that. It's just getting covered up. And so, 
so because all the pages were like that in this whole book I don't know what I was thinking okay so I'm just kind of covering up the whole shooting match here and I'm just with different pieces that I've cut out of that catalog let's see this one here Rip that one down like this. Put that on there. And then you see I need one more little piece there to cover that. And so cover that. Okay. So that covers, that's got the pages kind of covered. So that's just like the background now. And so then I will want to add um, add some little bit of other stuff. You know, other stuff. I don't know why words aren't coming to me this morning at all. I'm kind of I'm just I'm just using this watered down piece, so we'll have to see how that works. Now, a lot of people say that that's just all they use. Instead of buying Mod Podge and stuff, they just use the watered down Elmer's glue. And so that is what I'm trying. They had Elmer's glue, you know, before school starts. You know, they always have these good, great, good and great, um, sales at you know on school supplies for kids so so that's the best time to go and take advantage <laughs> that's cute that's what we got there there's a brassiere right there that says thanks for the support now I'm now what I'm doing is I'm kind of just going over the the I'm I'm going over the um oh gosh geez smile the seams so that it you know because I don't want it to be all and, and I'm and I'm still using these pieces that I cut out and <coughs> hey Oliver no it's just me talking to myself Oliver and um. My little dogs, I just love the boogers out of them, but Oliver especially, he's, he, all the other dogs, they'll go, if they hear a leaf move outside, they'll go outside and they'll bark at the leaf, but Oliver, if he just kind of stays inside, and right where he's at, because he's lazy, he is a lazy dog, and, um, and he just kind of barks at he barks if everybody else is barking, just because everybody else is barking. Now, I'm still just adding, adding um, stuff, just stuff, and kind of, and, and or you can just keep overlapping it, just overlapping, and um, it, see this way. My backgrounds are showing through, but but not, not, um, not the seams. I don't want, you know, just them edges. I want them edges to really show through. And, and so, and so, yeah, that's, that's, okay, let's see. But I like that torn edge. The torn edge is always very cool looking. Let me see. I'm, I, I'm far away. Where's my mouse? I don't know if I touch my mouse though I miss something up. But I am gonna go here and see if I can just zoom in a little bit. Yeah, I don't wanna zoom in too much because then we lose the whole the whole big picture. Okay, that's good enough. I think right there. Now yeah, so here I'll just put 
Okay, now this, that's too plain right there, so we'll just stick that flower there. Let's just stick that flower there. It's a little pansy. I'll put that little pansy upside down. There, let's put that. Well, maybe that's upside down. Well, I, I don't put it sideways. There you go. That's good. Now, um, here's a little flower. That'll go right there. And so the whole thing will just be like decoupage. Okay, this is a, um, this is a butterfly. I did some gel printing and stamping with, um, foam stamps and made that butterfly. So I think this butterfly should go on here too. And, um, I might be running out of sticky. So I better put some more sticky. I'll go over the whole top with sticky as well. So there we go. I cover some stuff up, but see, that's what I want to do. And so there's one butterfly. This butterfly, it was just on the edge of the page like that. So what I'll do here is I'll go right here to the edge of the page and put that one right there. This butterfly kind of covers up part of the other butterfly. Let's see, I think I had more butterflies. This is a little butterfly. And see, and, and you see, it just really don't have no rhyme or reason. And then here's another one. So then this page over here, this should have a butterfly down here. And, um, and I'll just leave this page open like this when I go in my sewing room. And that way it's going to dry. There. Now. So underneath there. This isn't going to be a very long video. Now, now I had a thing here I want to use. A thing. Oh, here it is. This was a wad of um, threads. I showed you on a different video how that went. And it was just like a wad of threads. I was pulling threads off the edge of torn fabrics. And I had this pile of threads. And so, and then I just dropped some beads on top of it. Or I think at first I put some. Um, so kind of glue I put on there and then I dropped them beads on it and and so the beads got glued on then later on I put some um, diamond what did I use crystal lacquer 3d crystal lacquer I put on there and it made like a a fun little embellishment and so I'm gonna put although I don't really want to put a lot of I don't know if this this will hold that, but I'll try. If it doesn't hold it, I'll go back later and put and put some and hold it on with tacky glue or something. But that may hold that. But see, when you're I tear a lot of fabrics for making strips and making ribbons and things, and when you tear it, then you end up you can end up with this humongous pile of strings just threads it's just threads and 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 i love these threads i mean you can come up with the prettiest colors and whatnot and you can wad them up in a wad or you can just pull them apart and just pull them apart let's see if i only want i want to um cut this wad in half. So now I only have half a wad. And so what I'm doing with this is I'm pulling it. I want to kind of flatten it out. I want to just kind of flatten it. And um, see, there's just so little that you have to throw away when you're crafting. There's so little that you have to throw away. And 
and really there's just so little that you have to buy. I bought a lot of things in the past. I don't buy much anymore because I have a lot and because I'm learning to use and reuse and that kind of thing. So, and there's so many things around the house or things that you throw away that, that, um, can be used or reused, recycled, so many things. And I, I have watched so many, um, YouTube videos that I have learned so much from other people. Now, I laid that glue back down on the top again because I want to now put, put this, I'm putting these threads, oh, that one butterfly wasn't stuck down, but I'm putting these threads and I'm just stretching them out over this page. I want to just put them out over the page. Just pull them, stretch them, stretch them, pull them over the whole page. I might be messing it up. I don't know. But, but you don't worry about that when you're, you don't worry about that when, when, when you're making art. You don't worry about what it ends up to be because you know you enjoy the journey not the destination so much I mean you know that's and I'm enjoying the journey right here I'm enjoying what I'm doing and I got that all let's see let's see now the, the images will still kind of show through And so, there, I've got that mostly over the page. I'm going to put some more of this glue. This will take some time to dry. I got so much glue. But now, oh, you know what I think I'll do? Now I want that to all go down flat. But what I think I'm going to do is just take another piece of flat glue. And lay that over the top, and that way I can just push it down with my hands and get that. The glue is already in there, and so now when I smush it with my hands, it I get it there. It's flat. There, now I got it's flat now because I use that wax paper. Now, if I pull that wax paper, I don't want to leave that on there. I want to leave it like this. Okay, now, some of them are a little thick. A little thick right there. Oh, it's, but that's okay, though. Now, this is going to take a little bit while to dry. But when it dries, when it's dry, I think what I'm going to do is going to take my Posca pens, probably my black Posca pen. And I will draw with my Posca pen around the butterfly. Like around the butterfly. I'll go with my Posca pen over the thread. Now, I don't know now if I'm going to, I'll have to actually be able, hmm, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think here, think and do at the same time. Boy, that's tough. And, but, yeah, I'm going to, what I need to do is I will go ahead and go around the edge of the page with a Posca pen. Or maybe I'll use, maybe I'll use washi tape and kind of frame around the whole thing. And, you know, I think to make this match a little bit, I'm just going to take a little bit of thread.
a little bit of this red. This is another idea. And I'm going to put just like some here. So I might have put too much there. So see, it's going to depend on a lot when you do this. You know. I'm just going to add some little thread here. A little bit of thread. Here, here, and here. Okay, and then when I go around, I'm not going to put as much on this page as I have on that page. So when I go around these butterflies, I'll go around these ones as well. And, um, I may, I'll have to see when this dries of what I have, because this is like a test. This is like a test rock. Okay, I'll put this, but that's washed down. It's a good thing I put that wax paper on the underneath of the page, too. Now I'm going to get that smooshed down. And that looks smushed to me. Now, that that looks pretty cool. Now, I probably want to... I should have, like, a word. Like, the le this one's got smile on there. You know what, I think I'll wait till it's dry, and then maybe I'll put like a quote. Once I get it done with the Posca pen, and I may put a quote of some kind. I've got to figure out what quote I would use, and, um, and put that on here too. I've got this here, Eileen's Glitter Decoupage. I like that. It's really nice because it's got a, like a glitter, but it's it's very faint glitter. It's not like bold glitter. It's just it just sparkles. I may go over the whole thing with that. It depends on what I have, what um what is. Depends on what I have when it dries with the glue. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have put this on here, but I like this on here. So I do like this on here. I might put a flower right in the middle of that, just to because it is a little darker than this. I might add a flower. I have like these flowers. These, I love these flowers. They're like, um, I may put that in there. Although that'll make that kind of thick right there for my book, but that's okay. I've, I haven't put other thick things in there. You know, if I put that there and then I put a couple other flowers in different spots, that would be pretty. Since that's my only thick page. The rest of them are all flat. <coughs> then I might, um, uh, but I like that right now. That, and, and that's only a beginning. That's only a beginning thing. And, um, so, but that's just that one spread in my, um, in my book. Look at my ring. You see this ring? It's like beads. You know what that actually is? It's actually an earring. I only had one of them. But it was an earring, and I was going to take the beads off. And I said, wow, that looks like a ring. So I closed up, you know, where it snapped together. I just closed it up. And um, I made a ring. I can't hardly wear much jewelry because of those old choppy fingers, but sometimes the earring fits. If the earring fits, then, you know, 
It's a ring. If the earring fits your finger, then it's a ring. I think it's kind of cool. I, I think it's kind of funky looking. I like it. So anyhow, here we go with this. And I'm going to let that dry so I can't show you any more of that. Um, I haven't even put my teeth in yet this morning. All I've done was wipe out my water. They say if you drink a bottle of water in the morning, you should. So I am. I don't know what it's good for, but I like water. I drink a lot of water. But anyway, I'm going to leave it at that, and I'm going to leave you all be. And I um, wish I had a joke for you or something. Oh, I better put this in my water to get sure so there's my water pot over there. Put that in my water pot so that's good. So that's good. Make sure my lids go so blue. Now I'm going to end this. I'm going to end this because I'm going to go into my sewing room and I'm going to sit at the sewing machine and sew patches together to go on my, I'm so excited because of my, my, um, haul that I got from the Goodwill. I've already chopped into pieces a lot of it and I'm, I, I, um, I'm sewing them together to make my covers for my, for my for my bohemian journals so they're coming along and i always have so many things going at one time because i can't just sit here and watch this dry this would make me nuts i would end up in the cracker factory for sure and so i can't do that so i have to have something else to do and since there's no room here to do anything else because if you see this area We'd probably have a nervous breakdown, but I have to have my stuff around me. I just need to see my stuff and have my stuff around me. So that's that's that in a nutshell right there, in a nutshell. So I'm going to let this here dry. And then I'm going to see what the heck I'm going to do with it. But I think i got to go get myself. Well, I need to go in and get my teeth and brush my hair and wash my face. I just got up out of the bed. Uh, here I am. I just got up out of the bed, come right over here to my spot. Well, I went and got my bottle of water, let the dogs out. Then I, um, then I, um, come over here and did this. The next thing was on my mind with you guys. Just you guys was on my mind. And, um. I shouldn't turn this camera out, but I'll do that. This is what I look like in the morning. That's what I look like in the morning. And in the afternoon and in the evening, I kind of look the same. But anyhow, all right. But thank you for coming by. Thank you very much for coming. See, I got a lot of in there. A lot of ones. Those are in the dish. And so, but but anyhow, that's why I have to go get my tie and wash my Put on some eye makeup and some rouge and lipstick and all that stuff. You ever see me with that on? No. I got it. It's in there in the refrigerator. Not in the <laughs> <laughs> It's not in the refrigerator. It's in the bathroom. But sometimes they say the wrong words. I'm such a goofball. I'm telling you, I am a goofball. It because I do say the wrong words sometimes. Oh, I just want to start on my porch. I gotta go water my plants. Although it rains all the time, every day we get rain, so my outside plants get rain. But I just noticed on my back porch, literally, as I look out there, I gotta go water those plants. So maybe I'll do that first. First, I'll do that. Then I'm gonna go use the bathroom. Not use the bathroom. It don't get cleaned up and put my teeth in and then um brush my heart and then i'll probably then go into oh maybe i'll make a pot of co a pot of coffee i think so i haven't done that yet either. and then um and then i'm going to go in my sewing room and i'm just going to sew stuff together because i like doing that that's just what i like to do okay now where's my mask here's my mask okay thank you for coming by and thank you for saying hello or, you know, for being there. You all look beautiful because I can see each and every one of you through that lens right there. You all look very beautiful. And so I just want to say I love you guys for come, coming by again many times. I mean, I can't believe you almost, I have almost a thousand subscribers. 
maybe could. No, it's probably closer to 900, but I still like to say almost. And so, um, so I love you and God bless you all. God bless you on your journey through today, your journey through tomorrow, and your journey through life. And remember that it is a journey and, and to enjoy. I wonder how my thing is bent around. It's supposed to go this way. No, it's supposed to go this way. There you go. Now it's right. Okay. This is, I made this inside the corner. Right? But anyway, I think I said that. Okay. So anyhow. Yes, God bless you for all of that stuff and for everything else. And um, do what you love and love what you do. You know what? You know who says that all the time? I think that sounds so cool. And that is um, Stacey Evans at the Think Poodle Playground. She always says, do what you love and love what you do. And I love that little that little quote she says. And so I just sold that quote from her because she's awesome. Okay, now, and you all have a good day. Thank you for coming and love you. Bye-bye.